Hi, everybody. So it's time for part three of our Wupa Crochet Along. Everybody making their lovely cartis. Uh, today, we are going to be the, doing the back of the cardigan, which is this part here, you see. We already did the first sleeve and the back and front, and now we're going to do the back here. Okay, so I'm going to show you this every step of the way. And I hope you're having fun with this, you guys. I am. I'm wearing a new whooper today. This one I made whoop, years ago. And it's a bit <laughs> worn out, but it's really nice and I use it a lot. So I hope you guys are having fun and it's going good. Looking forward to seeing your pics. Okay, let's go. Part three. Whoop, whoop. Okay, on we go. Time for part three. And we're going to do now the back of the cardi. Okay, so we have this uh, big piece here now. See, this is just going to be getting more and more difficult the bigger the piece get, it, it's getting to, to film it. Um, so this is what it looks like now, the sleeve here and then the front and the back. Okay, so what we're going to do now is that we're going to divide our piece into the back side here and the front side, okay? So I've already put in my stitch marker here. So what you do is you take it like this. So this is where we were working last, right? And here's the sleeve. So it's sort of like, just to show you, we will sort of fold it together, okay? Like so. So here's where we started with the sleeve and here's the back and the front then, okay? And the back is where we are now with our with our uh, open loop, okay? So what you want to do is divide the piece into two. And you're going to count from here our open loop. We want to have in this size the large short. We have 58 stitches on this side here. From here, from the top here and to here, up to the shoulder, really. And then 58 stitches on the other side. That will be the front side, okay? And you want to put your stitch marker here really into the half double crochet that is in between those. Like, this is the 58 stitch here counting from the right. And then we have 58 here after, okay? So I just put it in the sort of in the dividing uh, half double crochet that is here. Uh, another thing, yeah, if you don't have... Um, What's it called? A stitch marker. You can just use a piece of yarn to tie this here. Okay, so this here will mark the shoulder. And now we continue and we work. Da, da, da. Didn't write it already. Row one of the back. <laughs> And so again, we never cut our yarn or anything. We're just continuing. It's all in a whole piece, which is just lovely for us to do here, especially me with the, trying to film it. <laughs> okay. So just where we left off at the end here of our 10 or eight rows of the back and the front, we are here now at the and we're working from the front side. So we're gonna be working into the back loop. And now we are going to work two chains. One and two. And then we do 54 half double crochets. Okay. Do a little trick here at, in the beginning so we don't get the, that's one. And basically, so that we don't have to be counting here, you should have three stitches left before your stitch marker at this point. But it's also good to count, of course. So including the, the two chains that stand for the first half double crochet, you should have 55 stitches in your back piece here in this first row. Ba -da -ba. Okay, this is a bit, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> there we go. Must say it is 
is more comfortable to do smaller pieces in front of the camera with the camera in between me and the and the crochet but I will power through obviously not the worst thing that's happened to me either I'm 41 there are many horrible things happen to me <laughs> uh, okay so we are working up the back here on the first row of the back. I hope it's coming along nicely and that you have felt that everything is easy up till now. It really is a very easy and simple design in this cardigan, which is what I like because then it's easy to later change and make it in other, in other sizes and other yarn weights even, what have you. Whoop, but the boo. Although I think it's very basic here to, well, we all knit sweaters, not all of us, but yeah, basically all of us. It's uh, um, relatively common for Icelanders to knit the, the, the wool sweaters. Once you're serious with a guy, you will make him a wool sweater. I once taken one back. <laughs> After breakup, like, you're not going to keep that. But yeah, so sweaters, I suppose, are basic for me to make. But I think this one is fun because it is so easy and it's all in one piece. Okay, how many do I have to go here? I have one, two, three, I have eight, two, eight, three, four, four more. Shona. No, one more. I'm here up to my... I want to three here and one more because I was going to leave three without working. So we should have here now the two chains and 54 half double crochets and we have three left here. And now we are going to work into those three two double no, two single crochets, just one into each of the of the next stitches and one slip stitch. To finish it off okay so that's it for row one of the back On to row two and i was actually a bit excited to finish row one then uh we're supposed to do one chain at the end of row one okay and then we're going to turn and we're not going to work into this chain so this it doesn't really count and then we turn and do row two now we're just back working back and forth here and we're going to leave all these here at the other side of our stitch marker which will be the front side i'm going to leave those all um, without working into it. just going back and forth on the back now. Row two, skip the chain and the slip stitch. Okay, so we're going to skip this chain here that we did here and the slip stitch. And we are going to work one uh, slip stitch into the next stitch, into the front loop. And here we are working into the single crochets from last row, so we only have two loops. So we do that here into the front one. One slip stitch here. And then we're going to do two single crochets, one into the front loop of the next single crochet and one into the third loop now because we're working from the back side now of the fabric. So we're working into the third loop. So the second single crochet goes here into the back loop of the first half double crochet we have there. And now we just go right, right on down and do 53 half double crochets all just into the third loop. Maybe the third loop is like magical, like the third eye or something. Hmm. Yes, we will all see things clearer once we have our Wupa Kartis on. <laughs> all worked into the third loop. <laughs> and just right on down. Happily hooking along. I do love working with such a big hook, hook and, and the bulky yarn, it really is lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Really feels like you're, you, you see the progress so quickly. 
thinking if I should cut or chat. I'm going to go with chat. <laughs> I really like this color I have as well. It's my favorite turquoise, everything turquoise or, or teal. Sort of like light turquoise teal. It's lovely. <laughs> I would make everything in this in turquoise for my for my babies when they were small and actually made the one with for Pepe's. The whoop I made for Pepe, my younger, is also in similar color, sort of teal. Like this but he didn't want the the wool he wanted something a bit softer so that's why I didn't use the the Aula for Lope for that and also because I wanted to make it smaller obviously really happy to be go be able to go just down in hook size and and yarn to make smaller ones that is so neat <laughs> Okay, we are getting there. Okay, we're at the end, just two more. One into the last double crochet and one, the last one goes into the second chain here. And now I have done, this was row two, I have 53 half double, double crochets done here. Okay, it's a total of 57 stitches for this row and we're all done, yay. On to row three of the back. Uh, I'm not counting on camera. I'm doing that off, off camera. Really exciting behind the scenes going on here. <laughs> uh, but you should obviously count always just to be sure. So we, you're supposed to have now 57 stitches in this last row that we did in row two. And we do go for row three and we start with two chains as always. And we turn. Oop, this is getting a bit... Do, do, do. Okay, and now I am going to work the two chains and then 52 half double crochets. And it's in, in the first one, I'm going to do the little trick again. That just counts as one. So that's a one. And basically, we're just going to work into all our half double crochets until we get up to the two last stitches that were the single crochets at the beginning of last row. So you don't really have to be counting at this moment. Although it's always good to double check and then you can always, like I said, rectify. It's a big slouchy carty, so you can always add a stitch or take away a stitch at some point without really anybody noticing very much. Well, I won't tell if you won't. Which is a good point, actually, because people should not always be, be pointing out their mistakes. God knows that other people notice our mistakes just on their own. You don't have to be pointing them out. <laughs> I see people would do this, especially in their in their in their crochet and, and knitting and stuff like that. Like, oh, do you see what I did? And I'm just like, don't be showing people if you if they don't notice, and they probably won't. Then just carry on. This is all over the place here. And my uh, skein fell on the floor. Oop. There we go. I am just going to keep going until I work then half double crochet into all the half double crochets from last row and I only have two stitches left. Yeah. 
Okay, almost to the end here. And you see here at the end, we are going to start counting. What does it look like here? You can see always like the anatomy of it. So here you can see this is a half double crochet because it has the third loop here. This one does not, so that is a single crochet. So these are the two single crochets and this is the chain here that we don't work into, right? So I'm gonna leave these two here for now and just work into these last few half double crochets until I get to my single crochets. This one is up. And this one has the third loop here in the front and you see this one does not. So now we're up to the single crochets and then you simply just work one single crochet into the back loop here of the, the first single crochets here. And we're gonna skip that last stitch here. And that's it for row three of the back. Just finish it with one single crochet and skipping the last stitch here and skipping the chain here also, okay? Okay, on we go. Next up, rows four to 20. And now we're just gonna work straight again. I must admit, I prefer the straight bits, but it's, this is just to get a bit of a, a, a um, curvy line here at the end. So we are going to just work two chains and turn. And now we are going to work just uh, all the same. This is going to be 53 half double Ba, 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 55, sorry. I hope I wasn't saying the wrong number before. So in row three, it was 54 half double crochets and one single crochet at the end. And now we're gonna do two chains and work 55 uh, half double crochets. We're working from the back side, so we're working into the third chain. And so this one here, actually, I don't have a third chain here for the for the, the single crochet, so I'm just gonna skip that one. Like, because normally I will do my little trick here at the beginning, but mm, mm, it doesn't know, uh, it doesn't really somehow feel right. So I'm just gonna do it here. Go straight into the first half double crochet, or what? No, it leaves a hole, okay. Let's do the first one here into the front loop then here of the single crochet and then go into the back loop into the third loop of the first half half double crochet and do a little trick yeah that's better we don't want the hole and just one into each and every stitch and then turn so you're supposed to have in these rows where's my little note it gets <laughs> lost with all the all the fabric uh in these rows here, we are supposed to have a total of 56 stitches in each row. And that's including the two chains in the beginning that count as one. Okay, so 56, that's 55 half double crochets and the two chains in the beginning. And just back and forth, just with no increase, no decrease, nothing happening. Just me watching Seinfeld, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do, go and do my next, what is this, uh, something, 16 rows, 17, and uh, then I'll get back to you at the other end. Okay, just back and forth, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, on we go with the back. So I've finished all the 20 rows of the back, so we're going to go to row 21 now. And just to show you how it looks like, if possible. <laughs> um, so this here is where we started. And then it was just straight uh, the 56 stitches, just back and forth here up to row 20, okay? So I'm going to show you, it's just two more rows for the back. And now we are here at the bottom of the sweater and we're going to turn do our two chains 
and turn. <laughs> it's getting a bit challenging here with this big piece. And we are going to start the row as always with our little trick here at the beginning. And then it's just one stitch into each and every stitch until we get to the last stitch, the chains at the end of the row. And this is coming along beautifully, going very quickly. And as you can see, until now and the rest of it really it's all very straightforward and easy isn't it so you don't have to think too much while you're hooking on it although i must admit that my favorites are the rows where i don't have to be count anything or do any <laughs> increase or decrease when it's just straight and you just can puddle along happily without having to think <laughs> or just, you know, general worry about anything and you just crochet in peace and feel the peace, in peace and feel the peace emerge in your hands and getting bigger and bigger and way too big for the camera. <laughs> we'll manage. It's fine. doesn't really have to look that pro, does it? most important bit is just that it's all clear and that you are feeling safe and and knowing that I show you everything and so you don't have to be stressed that you're not going to get something or whatever. I am holding your hand. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. So it was 56 six stitches per row. And now we were going to work the, the chains plus 54 half double crochets here. Just work on this row 21 until you get to the other side really where I'm getting finally. And Go with, I'm not even counting, right? I counted before I started this row, so it's grand. So now I do my last one here, number 54. There was two chains and then 54 stitches here. Last half double crochet here. And into the last stitch, I am going to work two single crochets. One and two. And the last stitch is the chain two here, right? Okay. So that was row... 21 and I'm just gonna go straight into 22 whoop and that's the last row for today after that one we've finished our back piece and so where we are here now we're up at the neckline at the end of the row here and we're gonna work back down to the bottom of the sweater of the back right and now we do two chains and we turn and so this here stitch is the now at the beginning of this row we're going to we increased one here at the end of row 21 yeah we did two single crochets here in the end and now we're also going to do one stitch increase so and now we have to work into the, the single crochets you see so there is no we're working into the back loop but we'll just work into the front loop here of the no we're working into the third loop here in this row because it's from the back side yeah um but with the first two stitches that are single crochet uh we just have to wait there is no third loop so we'll just work here in the front loop so we're going to add one stitch so that means that we're not going to do a little trick in the beginning we're just going to work one half double crochet here in the front loop of this single crochet and one here into the next one and now we have added one stitch remember because we didn't do our little trick here with the first stitch 
yeah now we have added one stitch and then we're going to just going to continue down this row all into the third stitch the third loop and that will be your work for today done <laughs> like it's like a like i'm some sort of a polo, uh, crochet police and you have to finish each part per day now you don't have to I hope I'm not causing any anxiety with this. You can just do it at your own speed. But it is quite manageable to do it, I think. I don't know. Depends on how much time you have, obviously, to crochet and, and how fast you go. And, you know. But um, if you have enough time, then it is quite possible. If not, you just go on your at your own speed. No worry, this is not a competition. <laughs> Talking about how much time you have, like, there are so many distractions in life. I swear, it's always talking 7 o'clock. Like, I, would, I do the dinner, like, I always cook in the house. And it's always, like, I'm always here, like, downstairs in the, in the, in the studio working. And I just feel, it's always 7. It's always 7, isn't it? It's always 7 times to cook, like... Just like, how can it be? I just sat down and it's seven. <laughs> distractions in life. Well, it's good to have distractions, really, when it's your family and things that you have to do. It's just lovely, isn't it? I guess I'll miss it when the boys are bigger and, and leave the house that I won't have to cook for anybody. <laughs> But it's past seven now, and they just had sandwiches, store-bought sandwiches for dinner. Yes, I am an amazing housewife. <laughs> and so I can just continue and crochet along. No distractions. Full disclosure, it is Friday night, and a friend of mine, it's his birthday. So maybe, just maybe, I'll just pop out a bit later and have a little wee little dance. And maybe a beer or two. whoop -a. <laughs> perhaps perhaps okay oops i was getting to the end but we have a little knot here i love this color it's so pretty i don't know it just says the number there's no name for it it's like frosty blue frosty tur turquoise okay so we're getting here i have just rambled and chatted my way here to the end of this row this was the last stitch here into an eight, uh, into a half double crochet. And then we do the last stitch here into the second chain. And whoop, back finished. Beautiful. So I'm just going to show you a bit here if it's possible. No, that's not possible. I will show you. I will, I will do the intro bits showing the piece as a whole because this is just impossible to film. But what it looks like now is we have the sleeve here and then the front bit with the back here that we did and then we have the the back here all done and you see i've done the little increase here in the end so we have a small sort of sway here but it's a very simple really thing and then we'll take it better together with the um the list the ripping on the on over the the neckline yeah but that's all done for today that was whoopakal part three the back and I'll see you again tomorrow with part four, where we do the back and front here on the on the right side. Okay, ciao, ciao. See you on the dance floor. <laughs>